I've always had it as a hobby, but yeah, no, I mean, I went to vocal training two years ago, three years ago. So it's basically three years that like you've been doing this like on a professional level. Um, I only did the song last year, so I was 16. For the song, the other song I just finished. Yes, and so we also the first one to be able to play that. Nice, this is what I love. <laughs> this is what makes my job so exciting, right? <laughs> to hear something for the first time and then push the ladies and then the first one to also play it. Mm. Yeah, but I have a performance tomorrow and it's sort of like this was part of a project. So now I am um, I'm doing my final, well not a final performance, but it's the climax of it all. And where will that take place? Um, at the Constantial Audio School. Is it? Constantial Audio School. Is people um, allowed to participate, um, like a team? Yeah. Okay, so then we can actually talk about that. We don't need to keep it a secret, eh? We need to let people know who yeah. Natalie is, who the artist is. <laughs> It's time for you to come out of your cell. Uh, <laughs> you can't be bottled up now anymore after a voice like this. <laughs> Why are you hiding? <laughs> oh, I don't know. It's scary. <laughs> no, it's not. I know, like, um, the music world, it's like, as we spoke the last time also, there is a lot of negativity also with it. But I believe it depends on the person itself, on what route you want to take and yeah. the path that you basically choose for yourself so you can determine how um, yeah. your life will basically play out because um, the choice is all yours. Yeah. No one else can influence you. You will maybe have a manager and you will meet friends along the way that will also try to step you in the wrong path or stuff mm. like that. But at the end of the day, the choice is always yours if you want to follow yeah. that path or not. And that is basically the same with artists and stuff like that. Like, look at Beyonce also. Um, it's now recently that she felt like she also want to be a part of the Illuminati mm. society and stuff like that. But all along she's been um, like herself basically and just um, influencing people's lives and just trying to mm -hmm. empower yeah. females and stuff like that you see yeah so I believe it's it's your own choice it's your personal choice <coughs> gonna go on now That was the sounds by Natalie, and um, she is a very young 
beautiful woman and that was actually um uh, singing in the in the song and the song's name is I hear these voices and um, she's featuring with um, Frank Frankie and um, I had Frankie last week in studio and today we have the honor to speak to um, Natalie and she will basically introduce herself and tell us a little bit more about herself as um, you could hear um, how beautiful she sang um, in I hear these voices. Good afternoon, Natalie. Good afternoon. And how are we doing today? Good. Very and good, actually, yeah. Yes. Um, can you just um, tell us a little bit more about um, I hear these voices? Um, well, I was invited to feature in it <coughs> by a very good friend, Franklin. And he wrote the song, and it was actually how I came out with my singing, because I always sang to myself. And then when he invited me to feature in it, that was sort of the breaking through, and that's how I really started doing music more. And basically, um, when did you decide to um, feature in I Hear These Voices? It was last yeah, around this time actually, and that's when we went into studio with it, and it's only now that we're releasing it. And we were the first, Bush Radio actually was the first to play, I hear. <laughs> yeah. And we still have another surprise um, that was also done by Natalie, that Bush Radio will also be the first to play for the first time. <laughs> but that we'll keep as a surprise, so... Um, close to five to one we'll play out with that song um and that will be taking us to the news so um i am so overwhelmed <laughs> right now um what i wanted to know is also um as you mentioned you've always had this passion for music and mm. um how would you say a uh, music basically influence your life Sure. Well, it's it's been a big part of who I am because we often put up masks, which is also what the other song is about, as we are. Um, it's about, like, I always put up this mask and stuff, but with, with music you can really, like, with my music I really express myself and I can really be myself completely. Mm. And, and what is the message that you want to um, convey through your audience through music? I don't know, I, I feel that music really, it speaks to us in ways that words don't, because it's something that we all have in common, everyone in this world, we all love music, and I feel that if you really try to bring out a message in music, that people really listen to it. And um, tomorrow you will be having a performance, am yes. I correct? So can we just <laughs> speak a little bit more on that? Okay, well... The song is also a part of a project that I'm doing. It's a project about facing your fears. And this is the song that we will be playing yeah. later. Yeah, well, it's basically I'm facing my fears of showing my voice to others. So tell us about the performance tomorrow. Um, it's taking place at the Constantia Waldorf School at 6 p.m. And it's basically a grade 12 project, so we've... My whole class has done something individually and it's something that goes on for six months. And then tomorrow it's our final presentation and it's sort of the climax of it all. And anyone can basically come out and um, enjoy um, the performance with yeah. you as there will be a variety of different um, acts yeah. that will be um, presented. Yeah. So it's very, it's very diff. It's a big variety of projects, so it's not necessarily musical. It's mine's just musical. That's why I say is um, they will be so casting basically their talent. So mm. what you basically feel comfortable in doing and yeah. like your talent that you've been hiding <laughs> for ages from the world that is finally coming out. So. Um, can you also just tell us a little bit more about the song that we will be playing a little bit later on, as we are? Um, see, this is, it's actually quite an interesting story because I, I was inspired to write the song when I was, I think, hot in tots, mountains. I was hiking and then I was sitting on this cliff and it really made me think there because you're surrounded by these big mm. mountains. and. Nature. Yeah, and I was just thinking about the world and everything and I thought about how we all feel that we're not good the way we are and 
how we always want to do better and I, I realize that it's it's stupid to think like that and um, that's what kind of inspired me to write the song to be fine with who you are and that it's okay to be yourself and not hide yourself and so that's what it's about. And you normally write your own music? Yes, I, I do have some help, a co-writer called Tina Scow. She's also my vocal trainer. And um, what would you say basically inspires you when you start the write, when you basically start writing? I only write lyrics when I'm feeling really inspired. So if if something's happened to me and then I completely feel inspired to write about it, I won't write a song just out of the blue and just write meaningless things down. I believe that music always has to be meaningful. And yeah. And you want to um, convey a message through yeah. your, through your singing at the end of the day. It shouldn't just be you rapping no. about the streets <laughs> and whatever. I mean, I, I like those sorts of songs. I just don't think that's what I would put out there. I don't think that I would be particularly good at that. <laughs> and um, what type of music would you say um, interests, interests you, you more? Um, I think I like what all sound. What sound? Mm, um, I think I pretty much like everything as long as it's not really stupid or meaningless. If it's got a good beat or if it's it's got some songs really don't have powerful messages, and I really like it when songs do because it really makes you think about things. And that's what I find music's all about as well. And if you have to give advice to upcoming artists, what advice would that be? Um, sure. Since you are still young, coming <laughs> from a young perspective. Um, I think that, well, I can say what I've learned is that it's okay to be vulnerable and it's okay to put yourself out there because in the end it's about you, really, and how you feel and... It's important to share your message to the world and to share your inspirations and it's okay to be scared, <laughs> definitely is, because if you aren't scared then there's something wrong with you. <laughs> and fear is good because I believe when you're afraid you tend to um, express yourself a yeah. little, uh, whole lot better. Definitely. So um, what would you say is the challenges that you as an artist um, have to face like on a daily basis? Um, it's very difficult to write lyrics, inspiration for lyrics and um, also just, I don't know, for me I'm just a very nervous person about sharing my voice with others so for me it's anxiety about that and that's why I'm also pushing through it now because if I do it enough then yeah. So you would say um, the only way to get through that is to never give up and just yeah. keep on going. Yeah. And um, if people want to get more information on you, um, where can they get hold of you? Or if anyone wants to book you for a performance, um, since you are currently in Matrika. Yeah. Right? Um, NatalieAnderson.com Natalie Anderson. And um, they can even get hold of you on your mom's website also, yeah. on the smiling one. Yeah, I think so. So that would also be the best way to get um, in contact with you. So what is your plans um, for next year? Sure. Um, well, our school has a 13th year because it's a matric year. So you just write exams the whole year. And But after that, I think I'm going to travel a bit and maybe go to my Swedish side of the family and because they do lots of musicals and explore. So your passion is definitely music. You're going to pursue, pursue this dream further. Well, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you should because you sing so beautifully and I like the sound of your voice. It's so pure. It's I can't actually ex um, explain how it sounds, so people just <laughs> have to actually listen because, um, like they also say, it's different strokes for different folks, so um, it might sound like pure to me and charming to me where others feel yeah. like um, 
We all have like, different yeah. tastes, yeah. And okay, so any additional words you would like to add before we play out with as we are, which will be playing, and I emphasize playing for the first time on Push <laughs> Radio 89.5 FM. Well, I think I'd like to give a shout out to all the people who've made this happen. So, to my mom, Karina Anderson, for being such a good support and Without her, it wouldn't be, I wouldn't be here or I wouldn't be where I am today. And to Lionel Bastos, the producer of the song, who's made it what it is today, and my vocal coach, Tina Scow, <laughs> and Ashton Gardner, who's been such a great help, and just everyone who's supported me. And um, Push Radio also said thank you f um, to you for bringing us this beautiful, innocent voice. <laughs> so if you want more information on Natalie, you can um, go on Smiling One or you can even go on Natalie Anderson at um, natalieanderson.com. Yeah. So um, taking us to the news at one will be the sounds by Natalie as we are. And don't worry, next time when we have in studio, we will definitely let her give us a live performance. Uh. So we can actually know how she sounds with all um, rather improvise with all the improvising yeah. because you see in studios, it's, you can put your music, you can make someone sound better, so then they can yeah. actually hear how you. Yeah. Really sound. That's what I really um, enjoyed about my producer, though. He is very much about real sound, so we didn't really focus on all of that and as we are. Okay, so yeah. there's not editing, a lot of editing, no. actually. It's just um, putting a, a, a beat, basically, with the sound. Yeah, and sound. live instruments. Okay, so taking us to the news at 1 will be the sounds by Natalie Anderson, and the song's name is As We All. Ooh. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> that wasn't so bad. Thinking about the way I see to be drowning in a lack of self belief. Oh. what the person is singing so that is the most important <laughs> thing because we 
as people tend to just listen to the beats and that don't always work sometimes if you go to a party then it's fine you can just go with the groove but when it comes to music you're actually supposed to listen to the wording as well because you're supposed to get the mess message out of that that is the most important thing that lacks in the society so thank you again thank you. Natalie <laughs> You're gonna really become my new leader. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> and thank you, Mom, for bringing her in. I really appreciate it. Thank you for your time. Really and appreciate it. For you, that's always willing to come in, and even with Frankie. So we really appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank you. Pleasure. And um, when there's a big performance, do let us know, and then we can always do something. Okay. Even at Smile One, if you maybe having a big event, you can just. Send us an uh, email and then we can even do a live podcast. Sounds good. Thank you. Pleasure. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Which way does it? Pull? Just pull? Oh, there we are. Thank Bye. you. Bye-bye. Thanks. That's what I'm about. All the art. Yeah. 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 Yeah.